What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at Inform Decore, the 84 rated French centre mid for Watford. And he's a very cheap beast and I think I, I kind of picked him up just thinking, you know what, we'll give him a try. Some uh, some people recommended him and some people wanted to see him so I thought, you know what, we'll give him a review and see what he's like. Because at the minute, a lot of BPL players, a lot of BPL informs are actually going for... Not that much, to be honest. Normally, the BPL kind of meta is very, very expensive. And I'm finding Alonso, Decore, um, who else is there? There's a couple of other informs that have done quite well. I'm trying to think who else we've got. There is a couple of informs. Obviously, you'll let me know down below. There is a couple of informs in the BPL that actually are not going for a hell of a lot. I know we haven't had the major, major informs like the, the De Bruyne's, obviously, we have at the start, but keep going forward. Aguero, Son, Uber, we've only got a player a month of him, Martial. We haven't had them meta players yet, so they more than likely will be the mega, mega books. But some people like Decore, like Gundogan as well, they've been relatively cheap and solid players. So for me... It'd be good just investing in putting one into your team, to be honest. I think when it comes to actually investing in BPL players, they're quite safe because they do tend to stay their value throughout the entire game. Obviously, special cards rather than gold cards because they're still ready to drop. But Decore in general is not a bad card to play with. I used him in this team um, to start with. Obviously, I did change it over. Like I said, if you've watched the pilot video, we tried to use this team to get two birds, one stone done and finish up the league earn objectives in icon swaps. But we decided against that. We changed the team up. It practically was a full French team with Marcus Alonso as the left back, obviously being Spanish, as he is another person that I'm going to review. And I'm thinking as well for these reviews because... I'm trying to make them that a little bit longer with the special cards to talk a little bit more. When it comes to keepers, we're going to keep it quite short. As to be honest, I don't think I can talk to about a keeper for 10 minutes. Whereas players, they're a little bit easier to talk to. Outfield players, that is. They're a little bit easier to kind of explain stuff and really go for. Keepers are very basic, very easy to do. So Rufia is one that's on my list. I've got all of its stuff. I just need to edit and commentate. So that one will be a little bit of a shorter uh, video. So just bear that in mind. But anyway, we'll go on to Decore's. Basic informations, like I did say, he is French from Watford in the BPL. He's a three-star, three-star, which for a centre mid isn't terrible. Personally, I'm maybe not looking at skill moves for more my centre mid CDM, but I am looking for that weak foot. So a four-star would be a good minimum for me, uh, personally. He is six foot, so he is quite a tall player. He's right-footed with a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive. So again, you've got that balance that more than likely he's going to try and push up more, which he did. Obviously, I do keep stay back while attack, but Decore does seem to find his way forward. He is good as a central midfielder rather than a CDM, even though a CDM does suit him quite well. But just to let you know, he did push up quite a bit, which is obviously based on his work rates, to be honest. And even the stay back, uh, stay back while attack, because he's quite an aggressive tackler, I found that he was on the ball and moving up the pitch more and more. And without me even noticing that, obviously, he is moving up because I'm passing using that um, pass and go. So he is running further up the pitch. And it may be user error as well. So that is always to take into account. But just to let you know, as a CDM, he can leave gaps. Not all the time, and I didn't see it making a crucial mistake, is because when you do have the ball taken off you, he does make sure he's back, which is always good. Looking at a few of the stats, though, 72 pace, 78 shooting, 76 passing, 80 dribbling, 83 defending, and 84 physical. So we have got a lot of average stats, really, in this. Pace-wise... You can get up with a chem star. That's not an issue whatsoever. If you are going for a more defensive mid with him, which is personally my preference, you'd want the shadow on him, which would give him 84 pace and 91 defending, which is fantastic. If you was to go anchor, 76 pace and 92 defending with 88 physical, again, a very, very good choice to have when it comes to this card. That's personally my defensive options with him. I think shadow or anchor is the only two for me. Um, 78 shooting, it's alright, it's got 88 shot power, I do find when on corners he is the guy on the edge of the box, which is always nice with them long shots, may not have the greatest finishing, but you have a pop shot, you never know, once in a while, he'll get a banger right in there, 
76 passing, this is the one that, again, if you was going for more this central midfielder role rather than the defensive and the attacking and you want to go bang in the middle, I would definitely look at upgrading this if that is the case. He does have 85 short pass, which is all right, but only 78 long pass, which could do with a little bit of work. 70 crossing, which to be honest, you can get away with that. He's not really going to be a crosser. 80 vision, again, it's okay. It's very average, but he is only an 84 in form, so you've always got to take that into consideration. Personally, if I was going for anything when it comes to passing, I'd probably go for something like Architect. It'd get the passing up to 87 and the physical up to 91. You could also, and I think also you, if you were to do it, it possibly would work quite well, is put an engine on him. It'd get 76 pace, 81 passing, and 88 dribbling. So for me, if he was going for a central midfielder, I'd probably go with that more than anything. Then we look at the defending side of him. Heading-wise, isn't fantastic for accuracy, but standing tackle is fantastic at an 87. Sliding, as you'll see on the negatives, is only 79, but the main thing that I, I kind of like about this stat is the fact that it does not matter in this game. Defensive AI has taken over, and you do not need to slide tackle whatsoever. I can't even remember the last time I slid tackle, or sl I slid, I slid into the ball, <laughs> um, something like that. Apart from maybe a quick block, that's about it when it comes to a slide. You don't need to do it in this game. The defensive AI has your back, basically. Until we get any patches, that stat is pretty much irrelevant, I think, personally. Standing tackle is, irrelevant, uh, is relevant to an extent. Again, you don't even need that. You need to jockey. There needs to be, on the defensive defensiveness, jockey. 88, 89, because that is the only thing that really matters in this defensive element of this game at the minute. Dribbling-wise, we've got 82 dribbling, 84 ball control, 82 reactions, and 77 composure. Agility and balance are really not that good at 65 and 71, so they're pretty much disregarded as a negative of him. Um, but he's got the strength to back it up, which is always nice. 94 stamina with 81 strength. The card is overall really good. I, I really think at 44k, this card does work, does really, really work. Good at picking the ball up, great at tackling, really, really good at that standing tackle. And even you'll see, well, you, you would have already saw a very, very nice sliding tackle that just stops him dead. That is what this card is all about. He's a great interceptor of the ball. He's just a nice centre mid. He is more of a defensive mid, personally, in my opinion, um, but attacking... He can still get up there. I would say he's more of an assister than anything else. Uh, but I did rock the anchor on him, I believe. So I didn't use the shadow just because I thought it might be overdoing it. And having that little bit more of a physical as well as the defending ability, I think definitely really worked him out. Personally, I do think he's better than Verratti. Um, most people are better than Verratti, to be honest. But here's the comparison I'm going for with that one. Um, obviously, Verratti is more of a SBC player at the minute. And then I believe, as play in the weekend league, the whole entirety with Fabinho, he was a fantastic player. Good up the pitch, good at the back of the pitch. Overall, probably one of the better CDMs I've played with so far. Conte is going to be up next, or at least very soon, depending on obviously how much I've got. Because I think Neymar and Mbappe is going to be next on my list for foot champs. So Conte is going to be soon, but Fabinho is a formidable player. Really, really good. And I think he's only about 50 to 60k at the minute. He may even have dropped by now, but he is a fantastic CDM. So if you're going for foot champs team, I would want highly, I would 100% highly recommend Fabinho. If you're going for investment, if you're going for a safe option, but also a card to actually play with as well, maybe you have got a French team. Maybe you're trying to link some league on team to a BPL. Decore is your man, and you most definitely need to try him out. Personally, I'm giving him an 8 out of 10 for value for coins. I think 44k is a steal. Um, probably Tuesday night, maybe even Wednesday morning when people start to panic him. Uh, or even Monday morning, to be honest. I would then go ahead and pick him up. If you can find him for anything under than 40k, 100% do it because he's going to go out of packs. And yes, he may not go up straight away, but when that SBC comes in, he's going to rock it in price. 84 rated at a BPL French. Great, great link ability and a really good SBC player if you need that sort of player. I'm giving him a 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10 for foot champs. Personally, he's good. Um, I think he's, he's a solid average centre mid. But when it comes to foot champs, I think there is plenty better. 
obviously like Fabinho over there, who is only, what, 5 to 10k more than him. So definitely go check them out. And then I'm giving him a 7 out of 10 overall. Really, really surprised with him. Very nice in form and a nice player to just play with, to be honest. It's it's nice to play with some different kind of players this year. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to subscribe for more content, make sure you go down below and press that bell button as well, just to be notified whenever I make a video. And I'll see you all for the next one.